accounts payable. In this overview session, we will review the following. What is accounts payable? Accounts payable basic life cycle. Map into NetSuite and a demo. Accounts payable refers to an account within the general ledger that represents a company's obligation to pay off a short-term debt to its creditors or suppliers. Accounts payable is represented on the company's balance sheet under the current liability section, and vendor bills are typically paid within 30 days. Here is a high-level view and flow of an ERP system. Accounts payable falls in the procure-to-pay functional flow. Accounts payable basic lifecycle in NetSuite entails the following flow. First, create your vendors. For your vendors, you can enter vendor bills, then process payments. You can print checks or process payments electronically by uploading payment files to your bank or via integration. Vendor credits recorded can be applied to vendor bills to reduce the payment amount. When vendor bills are processed, NetSuite debits the expense account and credits accounts payable. When vendor credits are processed, NetSuite debits accounts payable and credits the expense account. When payments are processed, NetSuite debits accounts payable and credits cash. Let's see how NetSuite is configured. There are a couple of setup items to call out. Optionally, you can create vendor categories to group your vendors. Create payment terms for your vendors. Create vendors. In NetSuite, you can identify vendors as either company type or individual type. For each vendor, you can default the payment term, default expense account, and default accounts payable account to streamline data, data entry. Optionally, you can set up multiple addresses. Here are some screenshots of a vendor bill and a vendor credit. Here are screenshots of the print checks and bill payments tasks. Let's jump into a NetSuite demo account to see how it works. I am logged in as Accounts Payable Analyst in a demo NetSuite account. Let's create a new vendor. Start by entering the header information. Navigate to the Financial tab to enter vendor-specific information. For demo purposes, I will fill in some of the fields. Set the default expense account, the default payables account, the primary currency, and terms. Navigate to the Address tab to enter the vendor address. Click Save to create the new vendor. Next, let's create a vendor bill. For demo purposes, I already created a purchase order and received the order so that I can create a vendor bill. Let's create a bill from the purchase order. Navigate to Transactions, Payables, Bill Purchase Orders. Select the purchase order to bill and click Submit. Enter the vendor's bill number and date of the bill on the header. Verify the item details. Navigate to the billing tab to view the terms and the vendor address. Due date was automatically calculated based on the terms specified here. Click Save. Navigate back to the bill created. And let's view the geo impact. 
The transaction debited the expense account set on the item and credited the accounts payable account. Now let's create a vendor credit. I can create a vendor credit from an existing bill by clicking on credit on the bill. For this demo, let's go ahead and create a standalone vendor credit. Navigate to transactions, payables, enter vendor credits. Enter the header information, then the item details. the demo, I will be returning one box of the same item that we built. Click Save. Let's take a look at the GL Impact. The transaction debited the accounts payable account and credited the expense account on the item. Lastly, Let's process bill payment. Navigate to transactions, payables, pay bills. Select the vendor bill and the credit. For demo purposes, I will record the payment only without printing the checks. Click Save. Click on the payment number and view GL Impact. The transaction debited the accounts payable account and credited the cash account. This concludes the Accounts Payable Overview Demo.